I'm back and I'm better than ever, baby. Foo! Oh, feels good. It feels good to be back. Welcome, welcome back to some more Endless Ocean on Kelly Sucks at Gaming. I'm Kelly and I suck at gaming. And I know it's been so long. It's been so long since I have been here. I know. I've just, I've had so much fucking shit going on. And I cannot wait to fill everybody in on what's what on what's been happening. It's it's exciting. It's fun. It's cool. And hopefully, it will be a very good thing. Is if, if every, everything just goes to plan, is what I'm hoping. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and rested until midnight, and we're gonna try diving in the um, temple, whatever it's called at night to see if any new animal pop up. That's another thing I was working on off camera was I was working on trying to get all of the different um, entries in the encyclopedia opened up and getting everything that I can that's available to me. So yeah, it's something I've been working on. So, the reason I have been gone for so long now is because I have been trying to get a career. Um, because at this point, YouTube is <laughs> not a career for me. There's no way it could ever be a career for me at this point. Um, and at this rate, <laughs> not trying to complain, I still love doing YouTube. Um, but it just does not seem like it will be a career for me, just a hobby. And I'm okay with that, honestly but I need to be able to make some decent amount of money in order to be a contributing member, member of our household. Um, you know, it's just Patrick and I have big plans and to fulfill those plans, we need to have enough money. So that's my plan is to get a career. So um, in the town that I live in, um, the town has a chamber of commerce and one of the head of our chamber of commerce of my town ever so graciously agreed to meet with me and she was she's determined she's like we're gonna find you a job a job that you're good at a job that you enjoy and a job that you can make good money at um and I am just so forever grateful to her. So I met with her and she put me in contact with some people. She put me in contact with one of the managers of a real estate agency here in my town. And she also put me in contact with the manager of a credit union in my town. And I met with both of those people. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to look at my map. There's my map. To be perfectly honest, I really actually enjoyed speaking with the manager of the real estate agency and she, you know, gave me a lot of information and she really has a lot of high hopes for me and thinks that I would do really real estate license. So um, that is a, in my state, it's a six week course. That, which then involves taking two exams and having to pass both exams in order to get my license. So that's that's my plan. I will start that journey in October. That's when the classes will begin um, for the set next round of... that I would fit in extremely well at, um, you know, her office and as, you know, an agent, whether that means, and she said there's a lot of stuff in my state you can do, there's a lot available that you can do as, um, with your real estate license. And so she said there's, we would be able to find something that you excel at and that, you know, you would enjoy doing something that would fit the things that you really want to do. So that's a major thing and the man 
that I met with for the credit union. He was super, super nice and everything. But, you know, after speaking with him and getting a better experience of what the credit union career ship is like, I don't know if it's for me. Um, so I, I'm extremely grateful to him for taking the time to meet with me and everything. But I don't think that's where I belong personally. But it's cool. It's whatever. It's whatever. Whatever is clever. Um, so I don't think we're going to get any other new animales being here at night. Um, I guess that doesn't apply yet since we are still like in the story mode here. But I'm not prepared to continue with the story. I'm not prepared, prepared to continue with the story because there's quite a number of animals and such that I will need to quickly grab basically before we leave if I want to get them and not have to wait until I reopen this place because hey spoiler alert I know I've like said it like a thousand times now but hey spoiler alert um yeah we will have to raise money in order to reopen this place so because it will crumble when we get to the end of the story yay I know I'm just like going around doing nothing at this point and I'm wasting everybody's time but I have a lot to talk about, so, you know, here, let's, let's poke you. Let's poke you on, on doing shit. Talking about Bush Gardens Williamsburg because fuck Bush Gardens in Florida, that place is awful. <laughs> but we're like, hey, let's go. It's been years since he's been, and it's been over 10 years since I've been. And it used to be like a family tradition every year. You know, when I was young, we would go and go to Bush Gardens, um, whether it be with family or with friends. And so. As amazing as I remember it being like there's an amusement park in my state and it's okay it's not great but you know eh, it's eh. the rides are pretty fucking awesome um, because they the park is owned by Cedar Point and so what am I doing I'm just gonna go back and say oh, fuck this
we're gonna go somewhere else and have some fun somewhere else but so cedar point owns the amusement park that is in my state and the big one there are more than one but it's the big major one that basically everyone talks about whenever you know they say they're going to an amusement park in my state so the rides are a lot more thrilling there but the park itself is small and it's like nowhere near it's a nice like it's not as nicely kept like bush gardens williamsburg fucking deserves that goddamn like cleanest and most beautiful amusement park in the world like they totally deserve it like the bathrooms there oh my fucking god the bathrooms there were like cleaner and nicer than some of like the super expensive um restaurants here like i was like holy shit like you know there was a lot of stuff that i remembered about bush gardens but a lot of stuff that i also didn't remember so but you know just getting to experience it again as an adult especially just like hammered in how fucking awesome it really is as a, a as a park and it's it's just it's so much more worth the money yeah they don't have as many big um roller coasters but they have just more to do in general and it's just a bigger park in general so yeah so we just <laughs> it was a blast um so like the last time that i had been there big bad wolf was still there and that was taken out like over 10 years ago and the griffin was like finishing its construction so <laughs> that's another indication of how long it's been since i've been there so um i did eventually i did ride the griffin and that was pretty awesome and because what it does is you go up really it's super high you go up really high and it has this like 92 degree drop and it like hangs you over the edge of that drop and just has you sitting there hanging for like five seconds just looking down and oh my god that is so fucking cool it was terrifying but it was so cool and then it's like click and you just go and it's just it was really awesome um and of course you know apollo's chariot um loch ness monster and uh alpengeist were awesome as always the same that i remembered them being as in super fun um there was another ride that was there that i have ridden before and i can't remember what it's called but um there are reports of abnormal salinity levels around a group of micro tools somewhere in the guitar hotel region okay which i jumped off the night we're gonna do some treasure finding around Gatoma Toll. Um, but yeah, so, but the new roller coasters, so next year they are going to be opening a new roller coaster um, and it will be a wooden roller coaster, which I'm not a fan of wooden roller coasters just because they're so jerky. I know that's like the whole point of them, but they're just too, they're too much for me. They're too much for me. Like, I feel like I'm getting whiplash and it hurts really bad. <laughs> so I don't ride them. But they have this one new ride called Tempesto. And it's the newest ride so far. Um, but it is a uh, momentum launch coaster. And... Honestly, even just like watching it from the ground was intense as fucking hell. Um, like there's no chains that pull you up or anything. So seriously, go look up a video of it online to get like the full, you know, so you have a really good idea of what it is. And then if you still feel compelled to ride it, then go for it. I rode it once and I'm okay with never riding it again. It was fun, but it was fucking Oh my god, it was just so it launches you forward and you go up part way. Um you go up part way um up that first incline, but then you stop about halfway. So then it you fall backwards and as you go through the station it it launches you backwards 
So you're, you're picking up speed every time you go through the station. I don't know where I'm supposed to... I, I, I know I need to be going towards Dolphin Island, but I don't know which direction that is. And I don't really like look at my map because... Let's see. Okay, that's Dolphin Island, so... I need to be going this direction. Okay. So... You're going backwards and you almost get to... Um, all the way up that hill, but not enough so that you fall back down. You're going forward again. You go through the, you go through the, uh, the, um, station one more time and it launches you one last time. And that one's a fucking hard ass launch because it has to get you up that hill now. And so you get up the hill and you get to the top and you slow to literally a crawl. I'm saying, I, I'm telling you, it is a literal fucking crawl. Um, and then you do a corkscrew. And that, you are upside down, hanging, because it's moving so slow and it feels like it takes fucking forever. Like, but it was, it was cool, but it was fucking terrifying. Like, I'm not even shitting you. It was fucking terrifying. Um, so then you do that, and then you fall back down, and you do another loop, and you go through the station, but now it's breaking you. So you go up, you go about halfway up that first incline, and then it brings you back down into the station, which is cool. Um, so it's a pretty short ride, but Jesus Christ, I was not prepared mentally for that, even though I was like watching it and I knew exactly what was involved. But seriously, it's called Tempesto. Go look it up so you get the full idea before you like get there and decide you want to ride it. But it's it's really fucking cool. But God, I was not fucking ready for that shit. So um, so yeah. And then there's another ride. Now this one I am going to highly, highly, highly advise you not to look up anything for it because. Um, like Patrick's cousin, she just, all she told me was that this, um, this next newer roller coaster is, um, mostly inside. That's all that she told me about it. And I'm glad that that's all she told me. I'm glad she didn't spoil it for me. Um, because it was my absolute fucking favorite ride I've ever been on in my entire life. It was the coolest goddamn roller coaster I've ever been on, and I, I want to go back before the season ends and ride it again. And it's called Verbolten, and it was so fucking, oh my god, like seriously, go fucking ride that ride if you go to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, go ride it. It is a hundred percent worth it. It is so motherfucking cool. Um. Sorry, I was like watching my radar thing. But really, it's mostly inside and they use like black lights. So you're kind of looking at scenery while you're inside. I mean, you're in the pitch pitch black. And the only source of light is your is basically the black lights which are illuminating the walls and you're seeing things on the walls. And that is super cool. Um and it also it's the only um ride at Busch Gardens that has a like a ride video that you can watch so I know a lot of rides have like the pictures so you can see the pictures but this one has a full video and it's really it, it's really cool that it does that um I really like that it does that so you can watch it afterwards and everything and I I really like that and it's really cool but seriously Verbolton is my favorite fucking ride I have ever been on in my life and I I, I want to ride it like a million more times. <laughs> it was so, so cool. Um, and don't let anybody spoil it. Do not look up videos for that. I mean, you can, I won't stop you, but I just highly advise you don't because I fucking loved it. And I'm so glad that it was not spoiled for me. And I got to just, I, I just got to, I, I got the chance to experience it for myself without knowing what I was getting into beforehand. And I, I, I want, oh God, no, I want it. I want it. I really want it. <laughs> I know this is a long episode, but hey, it's the I'm back episode. So fuck it. It's going long. So yeah, that was just really, 
that was like the highlight of the whole entire fucking trip for me was going on that one ride which i didn't even know about it like i knew there were two new roller coasters that i hadn't seen before but i didn't know anything about either of them so but seriously go to bush gardens if you get the chance it i know it's expensive but it's so so way worth it you can easily like we were there from 10 a.m which they open at 10 a.m until 8 30 at night and we easily could have stayed until they closed but you know of course me and my migraine problem had to fucking ruin the night for everybody so we had to leave early which it wasn't really early we'd already kind of done everything we were just gonna re-ride some rides um but i mean otherwise but we do plan on going back um Bush Gardens does have a um, a Halloween thing that they do every year. It's called Howl Scream, and it is strictly like it is strictly adult um, thing. Howl Scream is um, like because of the scare factor and because of the um, I mean, there's a lot of people like in racy costumes and such. And it's just really like they're serving shots and and stuff. It's just it's not kid friendly. So um, at the end of the season, from the end of September through Halloween is when Howl Scream is. Um, they highly advise you know kids under like 16, I think, maybe it's 13. I don't know, but kids under a certain age not to not to come to the park basically because it's just and for families not to come with small children because it's just not appropriate for them. Um, so yeah, something for you to take, um, take into consideration if you're planning on going before the season ends this year. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was like the highlight of the weekend. We, um, also did get stuck in the tropical storm, Hermine, Hermine, Hermione, however the fuck you, Herman. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. I've kept fucking it up all, all weekend and I don't care. We did get stuck in it and it sucked really bad. And we were driving home in it and we were in Virginia Beach when it was like right on top of Virginia Beach. And so that was uber loads of fun. Um, but, you know, according to Patrick's cousin, she said this is nowhere near the worst that they've had. So it wasn't a huge deal. But still, it sucked and <sighs> whatever. We were safe. Everybody we know is safe, which is the most important thing. But yeah, so that's what's been going on. I know it's been like a super... I, I, I know like things have just been all over the fucking place with me. And I know videos have been all over it. And I know, I know I need to get that NSP video recorded and put up. I promise you that I am working on it. I promise, promise, promise that I am working on it. And I will have it up within this week. Um, ooh, sorry, I'm tired. We, um, I got permission to use an instrumental version um, from another YouTuber. I don't know his YouTuber name, but I will put it across here right now. And I will put a link in the description to his cover. Um, his instrumental cover of Ninja Sex Parties, uh, If We Were Gay. Um, so go check it out. And I'm using that to create my own cover of If We Were Gay. Um, so hopefully that will be up in the next, uh, little, little week. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hopefully it'll happen. Um, I am busy this week, but I, I'm going to try to make time for it. I promise you, I'm going to make time for it and have it up. But go check out him and check out his other videos and such. And uh, yeah, so that's all that's been going on. I am going to be back to videos every day at 10 a.m. Um, like I said, I would and, and such. So yeah, thank you all for sticking by me and, and being cool about everything. It's really... <laughs> It really is, uh, it feels good to know that, you know, people have stuck around and everything. Oh, and yeah, Ninja Sex Parties music video for 6969 finally fucking came out. And it is fucking awesome. It's not yet available on their YouTube channel. It'll be up on Thursday of this week, I believe. But I went ahead and bought it on uh, iTunes because I'm an impatient bastard. <laughs> yeah and it's really fucking awesome like 
you can tell how much love and, and passion they put into it and work that they put into it. Like it's it's totally it's super it's super awesome. And so go check it out. Um, if you don't want to pay for it, then Thursday on their YouTube ch channel, Ninja Sex Party's YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's so it's so much fun. It is just so much fucking fun, and you can tell really that they worked really really hard on it but thank you all so 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 much for watching and for watching any of my other videos i really do appreciate anybody who checks checks my stuff out it, it means the world to me if you liked this then go ahead and give me a like let me know that you want me to keep making these videos because i will i promise i will even if shit comes up again yeah i may take a small break but i'll be back i promise i'll always be back <laughs> if you have any criticisms or comments or you have any suggestions for me, then please leave those in the comments section below. And if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It takes less than two seconds. You could have hit it by now. And then you'll never have to miss another video from me ever again. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow at 10. Bye!